Hey, Mark King here, and here is a interesting story from. Uh, but I never, I never really used the national online, but they're really referencing a story by um, BuzzFeed. I you know BuzzFeed loves giving bad advice and bad opinions, but I found this hilarious. Report claims. LGBT parents suffer homophobic abuse from children during lockdown. <coughs> Tolerance has not been passed down during quarantine. Oh my. This is by uh, Lionel Duquesne. That's a really good name, Lionel Duquesne. Or Duquesne. Anyway, according to BuzzFeed report, LGBT parents are suffering from homophobic and transphobic abuse from their children as families <laughs> remain on lockdown amid the global pandemic. Again, to touch upon this, right, the the most the best functioning kids happen in um, nuclear families with a with basically a man and woman. Normal normal stuff, you know. Everybody knows these are normal things, but everybody pretends pretends and lies about it to try to fit in socially. I do it all the time. <laughs> you know, I'm in school. I'm like, oh yeah, thumbs up, thumbs up. Although I've never came across um two um two moms or two dads. Never happened. Um, but I ran across the propaganda in the schools, you know, the flags in the main office, which shouldn't be there. You're pushing something really divisive that shouldn't be in the school system. You know, this, uh, this, uh, religion of tolerance, you know. Everybody's very tolerant of each other, right? They just don't be preached and things pushed down their throats. Anyway, as children, uh, remain, and teenagers remain cooped up, their frustrations are acted out. On the parents lashing out in manifest homophobic and transphobic manner, right? A spokesman for the LGBT charity, LGBT Foundation, explained that they are trapped in the house, cooped up, and haven't gone, haven't got anyone to tell the frustration, to let the frustration out on except the parents. Consequently, LGBT parents have begun to blame themselves for the continued abuse on the lockdown, which the spokesperson, Richard L, signaled as it's something I'm seeing more. And more of the past month. Other middle aged members of the LGBT community also report discrimination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Alright, so, w- w- okay, so when even when I'm in like the, again, the school system, you know, I, I was sick for a bit and then I w- went back to, to work and then, um, and I was wondering what the kids were. And sometimes during a lunch, you hear the kids make fun of, um, like, like when we were younger, you make fun of the gays. <laughs> and the thing is, nobody wants to be gay, right? That as a child, you know. I'm not saying that that uh, there's anything um, particularly wrong with it, right? I'm just, the truth be told, why? You, why I never really cared until they start pushing their propaganda. So I take the opposite approach, where I actually never cared until they start pushing their propaganda. Our friends, they. See, what I've noticed are like less intelligent people that tend never to have opinions for themselves. They usually use it for societal trends and that's their opinion so they always try to fit in that way. Or or they're not smart enough to really form their own opinions, right? So anyway, I was shocked like in school where the kids were actually making fun of each other about uh, being gay and being a, being a homo and things like that. I'm like, oh, so kids are pretty normal, <laughs> you know? This is why the, the Generation Z... Uh, they're probably more conservative. I don't know if they'll translate in, into having kids and marriage rates yet, but you know, they, they, they're back to being cool. You know, they're back to being cool. The people who aren't cool, the parents are pushing all this propaganda on them. You know. Anyway, I found this is a really uh, funny stuff by Buzzfeed. If they did right, I haven't been to Buzzfeed in years. Why would I? Buzzfeed is just awful, uh, flaming pile of trash. And like, you know. To have the audacity to write parents of victims of their children. I've never heard I've never heard that line anywhere else unless it involves um well, it involves females, you know, because they want abortion and, and now this. I've never heard it anywhere else, like blaming kids for anything. I've never heard anybody say kids who are who are terrible in school, it's their fault. No, it's always the teacher's fault or somebody else's fault. Uh, even the parents' fault. But I've never heard the the kids are being blamed for the par- you know the parents. It just it never happens. You know, I, I, this is like the honestly the first time I've ever heard such a thing. <laughs> you know, 
Oh, bro, imagine a bully by your own kid, a third drug. Maybe they should have raised him to be more tolerant. Jeez. These people, man, and they're, they're just the awfulness, the absolute awfulness. And they're seeing people who are telling people to be tolerant, are teaching the kids man bad, straight bad. You know, these people are like, they have no self-awareness. That's the thing, they have no self-awareness of their own, um, I don't know if I'm using this right, it's been a while since I used the word, locus. it's been a while since I used those words. You know, it's like the ego, the super ego, and the idiot. It's, it's been a while, you know, it's, it's, people don't understand themselves, essentially. Or maybe they're that insane that they can't, you know. Some people are just so off that they, they just they just can't understand their own being. Damn it. That's something I noticed again. I'm going to tie this into to, to genders. Men tend to understand their own um, being and women don't. Women development. Like, okay, so women, it's like, um, you know, I heard this argument recently about people claim women don't have logic. Because they cry, well, that's because women's women basically emotions, the last emotion ends with them crying, while men tend to uh, move past the crying phase and move into the next stage. You know, uh, I think it was Carl Young and damn, I can't remember all these people, but yeah, women I think have like about three or four stages of development, emotional development, or is it emotional development? Yeah, emotional development. While men tend to have like seven stages. I sometimes read, up, read a point again. It's been a while. But of course, females will be in denial. Um, anyway, I just let me just leave that there because I don't want to say much else on this. It just it's whatever is the set is said. But anyway, BuzzFeed is awful. And um, yeah, it's trash. And I'm glad this was written actually because it gave me something to laugh about for a little while. Anyway, that's it. Again, this is from National File by um, by Lionel Duquesne. And um, that's it. Hope you enjoy. Take care. Bye. Share. Subscribe. The link will be in the description. Take care. Thumbs up. Bye.